back, everyone. You know, if you type into if you type into Google uh, diet fads, you, you probably will get endless results. We all know that, right? Well, this is one of those fads taking over the kitchens of many every morning. Talking about coffee, Renee Walters with UW Health is here to talk about bulletproof coffee. Yes. Some people have heard of this. You may have heard of this on uh, some of the the nighttime talk shows. Uh, celebrities talking about them. Tell us all about this. Sure. So bulletproof coffee is something that came about by somebody drinking a cup of yak butter tea mm. in Tibet. Um, it's a fad that started in a different country, in a different world, uh, with a different way of eating con completely. And somebody kind of took it over and ran with it as far as a fad. You prob probably wondering what is that in this coffee? You were talking about it a little bit. If we can kind of pull up the, uh, the recipe here, uh, we should have that. And um, there we go. All right, so here's what's in Bulletproof Coffee. Let's break it down and let's talk about this. So basically it's coffee, and it's supposed to be the recipe that this uh, person who's kind of making it try to occur is 8 to 12 ounces of a high-end type coffee. Okay. Uh, one to two tablespoons of butter, specifically a grass-fed type butter, and then one to two tablespoons of what's called a me medium-chain triglyceride. Oh. Um, that's, again, a proprietary product, or it can be a proprietary product, and, of course, it's more to push the fad than it is any kind of health benefit. Um, there are some benefits to meat chain triglycerides, but it gets a little complicated. That's to say, this kind of seems like you're drinking a cup of saturated fats every morning. It, you <laughs> are. You're basically much, like, really... putting butter in your coffee. And so what is, I mean, what is the good thing about it then? Well, supposedly it's supposed to increase uh, your brain power, it's supposed to decrease cravings, and it's supposed mm -hmm. to promote weight loss. Okay. Those are the three things that people are really hanging their hat on. The problem is that when we talk about a population that's a little bit more sedentary, mm -hmm. getting 460 grams, for, sorry, 460 calories in one cup of coffee, it's yeah. quite a bit. I feel like I'm used to that when I get Starbucks or whatnot. When I, <laughs> well, that's because I add all, of course, those flavorings to it. What, uh, what are some other cons about this, Renee, though? Well, it's high in fat, mm -hmm. and you're also robbing your body of carbohydrate at a time first thing in the morning when actually that's when you should be eating some carbs. Yeah. I mean, the old adage, adage is always everything in moderation. Um, I would say I would add everything with a common sense kind of flair. It doesn't make much sense to put butter in your coffee. Any other, other alternatives uh, to this or, uh, you know, other than probably drinking just maybe a one cup of coffee? I know even when we get into several cups of coffee, that can become dangerous for your health as well. Absolutely. I mean, uh, doctors really, especially cardiologists, are going to be aware, be mindful of the amount of caffeine that you're taking in because that can be not beneficial for your heart. Mm -hmm. um, at the same time, one cup has been really shown to have a lot of good benefits in terms of satiety, in terms of um, there's research out there that says that it helps, pre uh, helps prevent colon cancer. So coffee can be a very powerful, good tool to use first thing in the morning to wake mm -hmm. you up. Um, more than one or two cups a day, that's kind of getting a little excessive. Yeah, that's kind of where I am right now. That's my, that's my New Year's resolution. I'm working on it. All right, well, thank you very much, Renee. So there you go, breaking down the, the fad of bulletproof coffee. Thank you so much for joining us thank today. Really appreciate me. it. And stick around. Brad, I'll have a final check on that frigid forecast right after the break.